receiver on the outside. They'd like to fling it out there, too, and make some plays. And obviously, they got two running backs that are going to hand the ball off as well. Well, that's what I was going to say. I think that's what you're, you know, that that's one of the things that we've talked about for the Pirates, you know, all year is the fact that we can put it in the air when we need to. And, you know, we do that by opening up, you know, our passing routes and stuff with our, with our runs that we have. And so, again, saying that, you know, Winford's going to come in with some of those same types of plays and stuff. That's that's what I think we're going to see. So we're going to have to make sure that we stop them on the ground and in the air. And it, that's one one aspect that, you know, Coach Richards has talked about a little bit this week is, you know, it'll be interesting to, interesting to see what that's going to happen if you get them behind the behind the sticks a little bit, third and long, second and long. Are they going to revert to that pass? Are they going to stay true to their uh, running formation and try to get after it? But uh, that'll be a little more challenging for them especially and you know that's that's likewise that's anybody's game plan let's put, let's put a team in third and long and and see what they can do offensively against your sound defense well and that's what i think you know too like w- when you look at you know the idea that again we are where we're at in the playoffs right and that you know if you lose you go home you not only are going to see those you know tried and true plays that they have but you're going to see some of those you know special plays and stuff coming out of uh, you know, coming out of the woodwork a little bit as well because, I mean, what do you have to lose? And so, you know, we, even when you get up a little bit, that's when teams start getting a little anxious to start doing things. So it'll be it'll be a great game, man. It's it's going to be interesting to see things on both sides. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Um, the coin toss tonight was run, won by the Bluffton Pirates, so they're going to decline the option. They're going to defer their choice to the second half, and so they will be kicking off from the Riley towards the Modder Center. Um, they're going to be defending the mighty Riley tonight, so it'll be exciting to get that defense out there and kind of set the tempo for everything. Um, with that, offensively, uh, Bucyrus is going to come in, like, like we said, with the uh, wing T formation, so they're going to have the starting tight end as number 80, Jake Stover. Their uh, left tackle is going to be number 52, Bryce Locker. Left guard, number 66, Kalen Skidmore. Center, number 54, Evan Wright. And here come the Pirates. Crowd is excited tonight. They're getting folks. after a little bit. They are excited. The boys are excited. Everybody's excited, ready for a great game here tonight. Finishing out the starting lineup for Winford. Number right guards, number 68, Logan Feichner. And the right tackle is number 77, Kenneth Kotelnik. And that man is a large individual. He is 6'8, 298 pounds. And he fellas, is a big man. He looks it. Yeah, he does. He does. Receivers for the uh, Royals are going to be number two, James Stinfus. He's their main receiving rec- person out, th- out there for them. And they're also going to have number 88, Hunter Routson, in there as well. <clears throat> Trigger man, number t- number one, uh, Ashton Warren. Their two main running backs there. Obviously, the 1,000-yard backs, number six, Anthony Evans. And number 22, Caden Blair. And defensively, we'll talk about them in a bit. But their their defense is going to absolutely mirror our Bluffton Pirate defense. They run that 3-4-4 four, four stack, yep. and, and they're going to get after it just like the Pirates do. Yep, agreed. Offensively for the Pirates, we're going to, or defensively, sorry, for the Pirates coming out, same kind of concept as before. They're going to have uh, the defensive tackle, Marco Iden, number 57. Nose guard is Jacob Granger, number 59. Defensive end is going to be uh, Brody Summers, number 50. Linebackers, you're going to have Hayden Durth at one outside backer, number 17. And the other outside backer is going to be manned by uh, Gavin Bogart, number 21. The uh, Mike linebackers, the inside guys, number zero, Noah Bricker, and number 27, Landon Wooster. And our safeties, two all league safeties coming in here again. You're going to have uh, <coughs> number 23, Carson Cruzy, and number nine, Quinn Eaches. In the corners on the outside, Braden Jordan. And Brody Anderson, number six and number 11, respectively. And we're going to step away for the Star Spangled Banner.
right, so we are sitting here real close to kickoff. <clears throat> and uh, like we said, Bluffton will be kicking off towards the Modern Center. Cyrus Winford will be receiving it. Blah, blah, blah. That's going to be, yeah. I, 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 we'll just I, say Winford. Yeah, Winford's what I, I'm going to we'll go, go with. with Winford, yeah, because, nah, we're going to get tongue-tied. Once again, I'm Steve Lemley. I'm Courtney Morrison. We are missing. We are benless. We, we are, are benless. benless. I like that. We are we are benless. So tonight. if anything bad happens, we'll blame Ben. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. We are going to have uh, some special guests here tonight. Uh, so we got some more of our, our student body is going to be coming up and joining us at the end of the first quarter and the end of the third quarter. Uh, and maybe some others sprinkled in. I don't know. You know, it, it gets crazy tonight. We don't know, you know. Uh, but we're going to get some kiddos up here to, to talk about the game, talk about some things and stuff, and just uh, to continue to uh, allow them to, you know, be part of the student broadcast. Very so. good. Back for the Royals are going to be number six, Anthony Evans, and number 22, Caden Blair, the two main backs in the backfield. And uh, kicking off for the Pirates is going to be number 25, Kyle Basil. And we're going to see if that man can continue. His trajectory into the end zone for all the kicks that he's been doing this year. And off we go. We have this ball game started. Long kick and back to about the five-yard line. You got it. Blair's got Blair's it. Blair's got it. And he's going to be sacked or sa tackled there. It's hemmed in, not sacked. We'll take it. That's all right. You know, hey, as long as they go down, that's, you know. You got it. That's what we're looking for here, one way or another. About, got it route to about the 17-yard line. But great coverage by the Pirates on that aspect of the. So the Royals are going to come out first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And the Pirates are going to be ready for them. Here we go. So, you know, this is what we talk about, right, every week. You know, first <coughs> first set of downs is big. You know, what's, Here they go, what's, line up in a T formation. Just what we talked about. Chips in the back, quarterback keep. And he's going to push it out to about the 21, 22-yard line, so about a five-yard gain. You know, he's kind of held up there, you know, a little bit, but then he kept he kept trucking. You know, we're going to have to make sure, I mean, as big as our quarterback is, you know, we're going to have to make sure that uh, that we take him down. You know, we can't we can't be, you know, wing tackling there with our with our shoulder pads or whatnot. we got to really wrap up and make sure that we're taking him down. Yeah, it looked like they got in behind that big hog, too. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. He's well, a big yeah, body. That's a, yeah, that's what we've talked about. That's, you know. Whether you know whether he's an All American or not, or he's just you know a big guy to not be pushed around. A little trap play on the inside of the fullback, and it was stuck by the Pirates' taken. interior line. That looked like uh, Marco Iden ate that right up. Yeah, fullback great. number twenty-two, Caden Blair on the carry. I think Granger for a was loss in on there. of two. Granger was in on there as well. So great job by the Pirate in interior line, and that time they lined up in their more traditional set. Yep. So we've got a third down already. We talked about this, you We're know, a little a bit long. to see, uh, you know, to see what what they're going to come out with. Are they going to go with that? Uh, Back to the T. They're going to pass. pass it though. Quarterback and nobody's open. Dumps it in, and he did not catch that ball. No, it was ball on the ground, on incomplete. The ground. Nice job by the quarterback. Lice and calm, rolled out, left his when he read that outside linebacker leaving his man to protect the outside. Run, he dumped it right over the top, incomplete, and it will be fourth down for Bucyrus. All right. Quarterback is also the punter, so again, something you got to think and pay attention to coming down the road there. If they're going to have a fake punt, that athlete is back there. But it gives you a lot more options back there, you know. Probably not in this situation. And, and he puts a, a good, good shot punter in there, as turned well. it right over. But we get a good Braden caught catch. it. He got a good return. Oh, he's, he's got, got a nice line. He's got a lot of room. He's got a nice On line. The right side, one guy to beat. One guy to beat. And he got caught by number two, thrown out of bounds inside the 15-yard line, about the 13-yard line. Great return by Braden on that one. Man, that was pretty, pretty nice there. You know, that 10 fist there, uh, number two, got a hand on him, held on for dear life, and got him out of bounds, man. It's a 35, 36-yard punt. He did a nice punt, nice high. Yeah. Had, had a spiral, turned it over. You, you know, the Pirates there made a good a good alleyway for, you know, for our, our returner to be able to get through and break it to that outside, and that's exactly what happened. As a Pirate fan, this is what you want. <laughs> First and 10 exactly. on the 12-yard line. Already in the red zone. Pirates come out in a little double wing action. 
Pistol set. Jet sweep, Bogart to, to the left, left, left side. He's got, got an oily, got he's gonna get to the end zone! And touchdown! touchdown. Pirates. Pirates right off the back, folks. Nice job by the perimeter getting on the outside, sealing things for Bogart to get out there and dive for the pylon. And, and nice you know, job by the senior. Extra effort all around. You know, our backs to get out there and be able to block for him. Uh, you know, we hooked the end there, and then, yeah, for Bogart to get around there, diving to the pylon and getting the touchdown. Basil out for the extra point of kick. kick. Quinn Nietzsche is going to hold it. Snap is there, down, kick is up, and, and good. good. Splits are through, true and, and night, mighty there in that situation. Man. So we are at a 7 nothing Pirate lead, 10-10 left in the first quarter. That is a start you want. Man, that's, wow. If you're not excited yet, folks, man, get out of your seats because this is Pirate football right here. I tell you, you know, that's... <laughs> The thing was, too, is I, I'm pretty sure Winford knew what was coming. I mean, they had guys out there to yep. stop this. But, you Pre know, as a perimeter as, block on the, as a receiver, did a great job sealing that guy. You know, my, uh, my football coach back in high school, you know, we would run the same play over and over and over again with the other team knowing what we were going to run. But it didn't matter as long as you did your job, right? You know, you, you did what you had to do. Did your assignment? Assignment yeah. football. Yeah, man, you're gonna you're gonna score. That's what it is. Last time I checked, it's a team sport, right? It is absolutely. Yep. You <clears> give <throat> yourselves a great chance when your teammates do their job. That's right. Basil's gonna line it up, and he's gonna have the second kickoff of the game coming up here. Same two characters in the back for the uh, Royals, so they're gonna try it again. Blair, Blair and Evans. Put into it. Takes and it to the other one this time. Yep. Evans has got it about the 12-yard line. Bringing it around. He's got a little he's got a gap. up the middle. He's got a gap. And he brought it all the way out to about the 33-yard line. Nice return by this, by uh, number six, Anthony Evans, for the uh, Royals. You know, you can you can tell Blair and Evans back there have, have done this a couple times. You know, they, they made some really – you can tell they're making smart decisions. Uh, you know, their, their guys are blocking for them well. They've got some nice alleyways. And that's the thing, you know, get as many yards as you can. They're not uh, dancing. No, no, no. <clears throat> Straight forward, north and south, like we talk about, that's, that's a good, good, good run. Royals coming up the line of scrimmage. First and 10 at their own 34-yard line. Now you're the really traditional wing T look. A little shifting going on. Bringing a couple, yep. Another trap up the middle. And it's going to be caught down there. There's Big Marco once again going to grab that trap and pull it down. Oh, and did he ever. Did he ever. Man, that was that was almost like a WWE suplex right there is exactly what that, that was. looked like. That was number six, Anthony Evans on the carry in that situation. So he's got a gain of about four yards, it looks like. But I, Yeah. I th I'm going to call it three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're the math guy. We'll let you call it three. Yeah, all right. Little quick pitch oh, little on the outside. He outside. He's, got, he's got some room oh. there. And he's got a, a gain of about 14 yards on the play. Tackled by Landon Wooster down along the edge. But that was a nice job. They schemed that up really nice. Yep. He got us shifted over. And I think that was number six as well on the run. Anthony Evans. You know, and, and, and Brody Anderson was, was out there. He was pursuing. Uh, you know, Winford's guy, you know, got around the end and got a nice block on him to give him an extra couple yards. And, and it's a quick snap, too. Got oh, up there oh, and went, super, bam. Yeah, super quick. Didn't give us any time to think about it. Same formation again. Trap up the middle yep. by number 22. This time he got to about the 40-yard line. He's going to get down there. He got a gain of about eight yards. That was uh, Caden Blair on the carry. You know, the thing I got to give Winford, right? You know, Pirates come down, score quick. They understand there's a lot of football game left. Second and three. A gain of seven, officially. Officially. About time for the Pirate D to stick it yep. in there. Let's, 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 let's make it a little bit tougher for him. Wing T formation once again. Play action pass, a little waggle action. Deep and ball, and it's intercepted by Quinn Eaches. He's got it. He just has got it. And down he's down. down. Oh, he looked like the kid threw a punch. Tackled by number 66, Kalen Kid Skidmore. But uh, that's, there's our uh, all-league uh, safety doing a great job, baiting him into it on that waggle yep. pass. Stepped in front of it and picked it off. Yep. 
pretty sure, pretty sure that uh, you just said that the Pirate defense needed to pick it up, and I think he just heard you. He, he did. Yeah, Picked he was like, off. okay, all right, Steve said I better pick it up. Well, he probably didn't call you Steve. Probably but, not. Yeah. Not hey, yet. No. Not until he graduates. <laughs> and then he can. Pirates, first and ten at the 46-yard line. Motion by Motion. Stone. And we got a jet sweep going the outside. Oh, and he took it really way deep. far. And that <laughs> is not the direction we want. And we got a flag oh, down. Late yep. hit. Late hit. Griff's going to get bailed out on that one. Yep. Sure is. There, there is. We missed a block on the outside, which caused Griff to go bouncing it. But <laughs> And did he ever bounce it? That he was. did. He did bounce it. And that's going to be a uh, late hit, personal foul on the Royals. You know, that's uh, I, I definitely I definitely don't think that you know the the win for there it was anything you know in a in, in a hurtful way or a, you know a, a vengeful way. I think his momentum was taking him. You know, he's rushing after a guy on the outside, and that's hard to hold up. But yeah, it is what it is. Second down now, 15-yard penalty is not an automatic first down on that situation. It was going to end up being second and two. And we're going to take... Oh. Wooster's going to take it on the outside. I think he kind of yeah. missed the block on that one. He missed the misread the hole. Yep, yeah, I think the hole was on the inside. Summers was pushing uh, you yep. know, his man to the outside there. and So it's going to be no gain. For Landon, so we're going to set up the exact same way, third and two. So once again, it's in a situation that's a very manageable down for the Pirates. Yeah, that uh, uh, Chandler uh, Elcher, El- Elcher, I yep. guess number eleven man. He, you know, doing doing good at getting into getting into the line there a little bit. Landon's going to push it in there. He's going to push it through. He's in the open on the right side. He's running over the middle. He's going to get there. there. And he is gone. Pirate touchdown. Touchdown, Pirates. 51-yard touchdown run by Landon Wooster. Off the right side, did a nice job of just jamming it up in there and did an excellent job of breaking a few tackles. And once he was through the line, he was gone to the race. He ran in into, into an entire pile of football players and then boop, out the other side, man, out the other side. Now, the other thing I noticed, Coach Richards running out onto the field, Something has has happened now a couple times. You know, Coach Richards is a pretty calm dude. There's some extracurriculars. There's some going extracurriculars on. happening. Yep. yep. And and you know, he, snap he, is there down. One kick is up, and, and we good. got a good one. Basil with the kick, and we got a 14 nothing Pirate lead with 7:19 left in the first quarter. You know, I, I think Coach Richards just wants to make sure his kids are safe. You know, that's absolutely. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, even on the, inter- the interception by Ichis, it looked like the, the kid yeah. threw a punch yeah. at the end. And yep. I, I, yep. You know, we're up here. That's down there. Didn't yep. get to fight, see what's going on. But, you know, that's it's okay to bring it bring it to the to the eyes of the refs. You know, there's only so many of them, and it's a pretty big football field. The play was down the field, and, you know, whatever was happening was back here at the, uh, at the line. So, I mean, I get it, but it's all right to bring it to their attention. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. That's their job. Yep. As a coaching staff, you got to take Mr. Official. Yeah. We're noticing a few things. And I think what happened out there, I think uh, Mason uh, Shank <clears throat> looked like he got buried and the kid kept getting out. Kept after getting out. That's, yeah. that's what I thought too. Yeah, yeah, not letting him up. Yep. And obviously, all the officials were, all yep. the action was heading yeah. downfield. Yeah, it was all downfield. Because I'm. I think we scored another touchdown. Right? We, we did. Okay. I think we did. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. If, if the if folks didn't get our excitement level, in case there, they didn't so. see it, because yeah, I'm, I do apologize if I yell into the mic, but I get excited. <laughs> Basil has it teed up, ready for kickoff number three for him. Here we go. Seven we nineteen. Foot into left. It. He put oh, a he charge a good, into that one. Good one on that one. But caught it about the three yard line by Blair. Blair, yep, coming up, Bring and it's going to be set. Tackled there at about the 23, 24 yard line. Good hit, open field. That's uh, Tate Gieske, the yeah. freshman again. Oh, Gieske. Isn't that who we seen in the hallways this week? We did. Yeah, we, were, we might have been getting on him a little bit, saying we like to like to say his name on Friday nights. You know, anytime you can say a freshman's name is pretty fun. You know, Pretty cool stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, Bluffton's going to be back out there. <clears throat> and defense, it looks like we got a few subs going in there, but that's okay. I think uh, Landon's getting a little blow after he had the big long touchdown run. Yeah. And we've talked about that week after week, how we've got these 
you know, second team, you know, guys who come in pretty much as a first team guy. You know, that gets a snap on first and ten. Little handoff off tackle and by oh, Blair and the it. Pirates are there. To, everybody, yep, making the tackle and the uh, whole group of them look like both linebackers are in there. Yeah. Aegis was up in there. Yep, yep. So Blair take it for about a two yard gain. I know we had Bricker was up on it as well. That was a more traditional uh, twins over set for uh, Bucyrus. Well, you're you Cyrus. We just kind of take a deep breath here. You just I, got I, punched twice in the gut. Yep. And yep. Uh, you have to. They they want to probably you know get a few first downs. Let's get out of this hole. Let's see if we can't get a th- something together offensively. Yep. Another trap up, trap the, middle. up the middle. And, and again, they're nothing. eating it up. This, no. Our defensive line's doing an outstanding job reading that, getting off the blocks, and well, making the play at the line of scrimmage. Well, you know. Uh, on the last on the last set of downs, when Marco uh, Leiden in there for the Pirates, when the Royals had the ball, you know they, they were making some making some gain. They were pushing our guys around a little bit, and then that interception happens, and it kind of takes oh all that hard work yep. that they yep. just did. It, it drains you a little it's bit. It's demoralizing a little Ab- bit. Absolutely, and our guys are on this high now from this big run, and so I mean, yeah. Thirty-six for uh, Winford. <clears throat> we'll see. Two receivers see, out. See if we see a pass here. Looks oh. like uh, we're doing a little shifting up there. What do we got? A little timeout action. Timeout, yeah. Bucyrus. Yeah. Timeout, yeah. Bucyrus. It's a big down for them. Oh, it's, they they want to make sure they can sustain this drive, keep yeah. our offense off the field. Well, they tried to get us to jump. You know, they I, I think that's what they're doing, trying to pull us over the line. And, and, and Granger was baiting them a little bit, but not, you know, not yep. far enough yep. to, you know. It, it's like the coaches always tell you, right? You watch that ball. You watch you watch that ball. That's what that's what you're going on. Play don't start until that ball moves. That's right. You know, yep. they can bark all they want. No matter what anybody else says. Yep. You got it. <clears throat> I do like the, uh, you know, Coach Richards in the white tonight, right? Like you know, that. as opposed to. Everybody else, all the other kind of matches his shiny black. head. You it know? does, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell where that begins and the other one ends. So. Yeah, hey, it's all right. <laughs> it's all part of the look. Yep. And then he absolutely. turns around, you can see the beard. Yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here we Winford go. comes up the line. Still third and six. Yep, third and six. Big, big play here. Two receivers on each side. Back to pass. pass Receiver outside. got a little hitch. Nice job and on the outside, Kane, oh. and we're going to tackle him, but he's going to get the he's first down get the by first a yard. Down. Yep, yep. Nice little hitch. Uh, the, the hitch that looks like a nice hitch gain there with uh, with reading that the, the cornerback's playing off. He's going to hitch it up at about five, and then spin on the outside, make up the first down play. You know, if you're if you're pirates, you know, if you're the pirates, that that's probably a smart play. As much as you don't want to give up. The first down, you definitely don't want to give up anything more than the first down. Yeah. And so, you know, to play off a little bit, make them test that throw. First you and know, ten. See what they have. Quick oh, pitch to the outside. Pitch again. They're going to just stop oh. it and throw it down. That is going to be Bogart <laughs> on the outside. He <laughs> his, his blo- he, he, he rammed his blocker. You he got it. Into the back on the quick pitch and just stayed with it. That man. is the exact same play they burned us for for about 14 in the and they last got series. And their and their face masks are hooked, folks. We got- <laughs> there we are. That's teamwork right there. Yeah, we side got- by side. Bogart and Fredericks there. They they gave each other this hit afterwards. They're so excited and their face masks got got hooked together. That, you Third know. and 15 for Winford. We got the. And we are yeah, we got uh, official, official time timeout. Out, We're yeah. talking about something. It's too early to talk about where they're going to eat after the game. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, that's we, important. Yeah, that's it's important. super important. It could be uh, Southgate Lanes, who uh, has amazing it comes. chicken it comes. chunks that should definitely sponsor, uh, unofficially sponsor Steve and I tonight with some chicken chunks. So Derek Dukes, everybody else, Southgate Lanes, if you're listening. Uh, Here comes Bucyrus, by second halftime, and 15. We'll take some chicken chunks. Oh, we got a quarterback keep. Quarterback keep. Nothing. Great job by the defensive Nothing. line. Fredericks is in there. Marco's in there. You know, when Fredericks' helmet stays on. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> That's what he does. Two-yard gain for Warren off of the off-tackle play. Looked like they had the, full, or the tailback go lead through, and then the quarterback followed him. Yeah, third down and 14. I 
Hot and honey? Hot hot and honey. Okay, hot and honey chicken chunks is what we're hearing up here is the best from Southgate. Back to pass. For, All right, we uh, got third. Desire's going to zing it on out, the outside. Out He's the got outside. a receiver. Oh, and they're going to. And he slipped. And he threw it. Yeah, he threw it. Way Late, back back. But he threw about it. Ten seconds after the play was over with. That's not going to be liked by the Pirates. Or the other umpire that was right beside him? Or the other ref that was right beside him? <clears throat> and they're going to call Braden on pass interference, unfortunately. I think Coach was wanting an un- uncatchable ball. Well, it was not going to be catchable. The yeah. ball was way yep. thrown short, and the receiver fell down. Yep. He, did, he fell down not because of what Braden did, but Braden went over the top of him <laughs> trying yep. to get to the ball. Yep. So <clears throat> I think the gentleman here on this sideline had a better look at it. I, I, think, uh, I think he did as well. The gentleman out there with the awesome-looking beard. Amazing beard. ZZ Top beard. Yes. Definitely ZZ Top beard. So first and ten, Bucyrus yep. bailed out on that one. Got a fullback off off uh, tackle. And he got he got he got a hole. He got a good hole. He got a gain for Blair. Nice job by the uh, offensive line for the Royals on that one. So it's second and two for Winford. I mean that I, th- I think that flag that flag was just it was just cold, man. You know, and speaking of cold. I could really go for a latte there it right is. now. There it is, man. Just waiting on someone to bring me a latte. Second and two for Winford. They're going to shift guys over, re- relocate things, and uh, let's see what happens. Yep. Dive, just straight right dive up. off tackle, and there was a big hole. Big old hole. And uh, we got a gain of about 12 yards for the running back, number six, Anthony Evans, off the left side of the – Winfrey Bucyrus, uh you know they're 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 really running, line. you know, right up the back of their big guy. You know, they're they're number oh, seventy seven there. I would too. Absolutely. He's a, and he's and, large and in charge, yep, man. And, and their backers are quick enough that, you know, they're able to get through that that tiny of a gap there and, and pick up some yards. It's like they're going back to the same sequence of plays. Number twenty two off the left side, right behind big seventy seven. Short gain, gain of about three. You know, we, we talked about this on the quick pitch, but one of the things that I want to make sure we mention again, the Royals, their cadences are very quick. Yep. They're in, and, you know, the Pirates. And that is typical of a wing T team. They get absolutely. up there, bam, yep. get going. Yep, bam, get going. get going. Bam, get going. You know, the Pirates, the last couple teams we've played, we haven't seen, you know, such a quick cadence or whatnot. And so, you know, readjust, get our minds, you know, ready to go. And Second and six <laughs> for you, Cyrus. Again, we got a shift. See, but as soon as they get down, it's gone. It's game on. Coming. Yep. Here Little we go. sweep action, inside Outside tackle. Now. Good job by the Pirates. The fill. Filling gaps. Yep. Tackle by number nine, Quinn Eaches. I think uh, number tw- number 27, Milano Wooster was there as well. That was uh, Evans on the carry for about another three. It's third down. <clears throat> and we got third and four. And this is going to be two down territory for sure. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> You know, so here's, you know, here's here's your your thought on this, right? You've got two things that's worked. You either got those hitch routes that have worked, or we've seen the running play now has been, you know, working I, as well. I think we're going to see a run play here. <laughs> yep. Probably a fullback off the left side. I'm guessing. Nope. And, straight nope, dive. Straight dive. And met and we're there by the Pirates. A short gain, maybe a two yards. Depends on how far he fell. Bricker into filling the gap in that situation. So number six, uh, Evans again was the ball carrier. Definitely got about a fourth and fourth and two, maybe yep. fourth, fourth and two. Yep. Fourth and two. Big play for the Pirate defense to sustain the momentum that they have right now. So we got about 55 seconds left here in the first quarter. This can be a big play on both sides. Pirates defense step up. Quarterback keep, keep. and he's going to get the first down by the hair of his chinny-chin-chin. Evans off the left side of the offensive line, or right side of the offensive line. Depends on who mark they take. And it's a first down. First down for the Royals. Gain of about two and a half. All they needed was two. But as we know, it only gets credited for, credit for two. So, new set of downs for uh, 
Winford as they set up shop on the 23-yard line of the Pirates. They are driving. So back to the T formation for Bucyrus. Double tight. We're going to have a quarterback, quarterback keep. keep right side. And it's going to be met by the Pirates. Nice there. job by the whole Pirate uh, yeah, dirt, left defensive dirt side. kind of caught him from behind. And all the other Pirates Short kind of had him Short gain of about two. First quarter is going to come to an end. And 2-1-0. That is the end of the first quarter of the uh, second round of these playoffs here. And the Pirates are going to take a 14 nothing lead into the second period. So we got a couple of uh, guest guests speakers here. All right, we're going to get them on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so just like last week, we got a couple uh, students here that are, are going to talk a little bit about the game. I want you guys to go ahead, introduce yourselves again, uh, tell us what uh, what grade you're in, uh, some of those types of things. Okay, uh, Aubrey Clevenant, I'm a sophomore. Uh, Jason Morris, I'm a sophomore. Excellent, excellent. So, all right, guys, second week of the playoffs, pretty pretty exciting so you know we talked a little bit uh last week during this about what the the feel around school was you know first week of playoffs you know playing against balding those types of things a really big game last week so wh what did school look like you know this week what did the community to the school what did everything look like this week for the second round um at school we just all like like i said last week we just hype each other up say good luck stuff like that <laughs> All right, good, cool, cool, good luck, stuff like that. We like that. That's good. That's good. Any any special things? Uh, any special things happen to school or anything this week for uh, for this week? Anything that the student body's doing special this week or anything? Not that I can think of. We haven't really done much for like. Usually that's just homecoming week. Um, for the theme tonight, it's pajamas. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So, yeah, so for the student section, all right. Because we're going to put the other team to sleep, right? Is yeah, that what, yeah, yeah, you know, that type of thing. Well, that's good. That's good. No, that's awesome. So, all right, so we're up So we're up 14 to nothing right now. Okay, 14 to nothing. Prediction on uh, prediction on the rest of the game. What do you guys think? Um, I think we're going to catch a W. And <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Okay, all right. I think we're going to hold them to zero. Okay, all right, awesome. Well, thank you, ladies. We appreciate it, and uh, you guys take it easy, and uh, we'll talk to a few other students here later. Thank you. And we have a fumble on the play. Pirates recovered. <laughs> so once again, a turnover for Bucyrus has haunted them inside pirate territory. So I'm so sorry about that. We were having so much fun with the students. We weren't even paying attention to the game, and something big happens. They I actually... didn't catch her recovered it, but <laughs> it was recovered by the Pirates. So once again, we're going to have first and ten Pirates coming out of the gate. <laughs> the uh, the young ladies, as they were walking off, they, they looked at me and was like, what just happened? <laughs> I was like, sorry, we got the ball back. Looks like there's an exchange between the quarterback and the and the running back. But uh, Bluffton first and ten. Motion. We got a little jet sweep action. We got oh, a little we got a two guys in motion. So, yep. This is going to be coming back. Yep. Getting a little jumpy. Getting a little excited. Illegal procedure. Five-yard penalty for the Pirates. That's going to back them up five. So, we're going to have first and 15. And that was a good gain off the side. It, it so. was. It was, too. Yep. Legal chip on the Pirates. Five-yard penalty. Replay first down. You know, like we said, man, you know, you're amped up. You're ready. Yep, yep. Ready to go. Everybody's ready to go. So the Pirates come back up here to the line. First and 15. We got twins to the left. Yep. The, and uh, we're going to see what's happening here. Pistol set. Motion. A little counteraction for Landon going up the side, up the left side, right side, and uh, short gain, gain of about three. You know, I, I, I think uh, I think Bricker was was blocking on the outside there a little bit. Thought that Wooster was past him already, kind of laid off of his block a little bit, and that's the guy who kind of caught him from behind. Nice job by the 
by the Winfrey Bucyrus defender to close it down. He did, too. I think, yeah. I was, I think that and was number 80. Quick. Yeah, he closed quick. Jake Stover, sophomore. We got a timeout for the Pirates. Pirates. Okay. So, Lufton will come over and talk to coach. coaches here a little bit, see what's going on. Have a little change of plans, I imagine. We're going to have second and 12. So, once again, you know, this we, we stick with maybe the jet sweep action, which is they haven't stopped that yet. Nope, no. Nope. And, uh, you know, we have our passing attack. We have not thrown a pass yet. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, we haven't needed to. No. <laughs> no, we had a one-play drive and a, a – Another one-play drive? Uh, no, right? was we, had a couple, we had a couple plays there. I thought we Worcesters had, – we, we had three plays. We had dropped the pa- – or we uh, we had a loss, but then they had a 15-yard late hit call. Oh, and yeah, And then yeah, they yeah, had yeah. off tackle for yep. very little gain, zero gain, and yep. then he broke it for yep, a, yep, the 51 yep. yards. You're so. right. I, I forgot I wasn't watching. I was just, That's uh, all right. I was thinking about – Getting something to drink. Okay, here we go. Warm and nice. Second and th- 12. Slipped it out. Oh, great nice catch. catch. Great catch. Nice move by Bogart on the outside. Got good, a good gain. Good yeah, chunk of it back. Yeah. Good tackle by the quarterback Gain of there, about Warren. six. That was a one-handed, left-handed catch. Yes. That was, that was pretty nice. Third and six for the Pirates. You know, he's got those sticky gloves on. That's what it is. I yeah, mean, it's yeah. Got, yeah. All these kids yeah, all these sticky gloves. We never had sticky gloves. No, we didn't. No, no, didn't you didn't have, have gloves. gloves. Right. We played, we played before there yeah, were gloves. exactly. Third and six, rolling out for Bogart. He hasn't found anybody. He's nope. getting chased. He's avoiding. Zipping it across. It. Caught by Find somebody. And we got a face mask. Nope, nope. 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 It's going to nope. be short of the first down by about a yard, yard and a half. So it was complete the Griff Stackhouse. Nice job by uh, Garrett, just <laughs> extending the play and extending wow. the play and extending the play. I mean, he was all all the way past, game. all the way past the numbers, and then broke kind of you know a little tackle, brought it back and found Griff. That was impressive. Back impressive. to punt, Gabe Mesa for the Pirates. Nobody is deep, so they are either rough. Well, they're going to assuming they're going to take a. A fake, but that's going to roll. An excellent roll by great, Mesa there for great the punt. Great roll all the way down past. To inside the 20. Man, 20. about the 18. 52-yard punt by Gabe Mesa. Excellent job by the junior. And Winford will take over first and 10 from that spot. Well, there's an example of how the penalty can hurt you. Yep. Yeah, abs- absolutely. Even we though were, it was a, a five yard that uh, kept us from the first down. Fourth and one, and I believe they would have gotten the first down. But yeah. Yep. Let's just not do that again. No. We, yep. No more penalties. Yep. For the no more penalties. I'm, no more I'm, penalties. I'm good with that. Yep. Here comes Bucyrus, first and 10 at their own 18 yard line. T set. Quick snap. Full back off tackle. Back. Got a little opening in the middle there. Yep. He pushed it out to about the twenty or the twenty-five yard line, so it was a gain of about uh, six-ish. You know, it's not hard for me to see why both of their rushers have over a thousand yards. They run no, hard. They, they run hard. They do a nice job. They get up in between there. They're, you know, they're not looking for all that fancy juke right. and stuff. It's, yeah. it's hit the hole. Let's get going. But that's that's the wing tee. Yep. Yep. You knew you you operated under the uh, unbalanced. Uh, yep. Uh, the wishbone, and that's the same concept. Yep. Same type of idea. Yep. Little motion with the wing. Power off tackle with the uh, running back, and he's caught up right at the yep. line of scrimmage. Great job. Looked like Brody Summers stuck yep. it up there with the uh, did as too. A defensive end spot. And that was number six, Anthony Evans, with the run. You know, our def- our defensive defensive line are doing really, really good at following their their offensive lineman who's leaving. You know, waiting they're and pull. looking. They pull. Yep. yep, yep. When they pull, you know, they're, they're they're looking for that guy coming back. That's one of the things you're always taught. You know, as a defensive yep. lineman, you're a defensive lineman. If you're right? freed, you're freed up. You better be looking down your down the line because somebody's what, coming. Yep, somebody's coming. This is another, Third another two. big play. Yep, another big play. T formation. Watch that quarterback. Fullback Keep power off the left side. Off the He's going to get the first down yep. by very little, <laughs> but he got it. Run of about three and a half, four yards for number 22, Blair. 
across the 30 yard line. That is enough for a quick for first down. No nonsense, just getting after it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> A new set of downs. First and 10, Busires from the 30 yard line. Busires comes up. Twins right. I formation. Toss sweep, left side, right side, sorry. And Ooh. it's a short gain. Ended up falling forward for a couple more. Tackle by, uh, looked like a Noah Bricker tripped him up. Fell forward for about four. And that was number six, Evans. Got a quiet crowd right yeah, now. Well, you know, little, you know, just waiting and watching. And it's not seventy degrees anymore. Right. You know, the the blood thickens up a little bit. And <laughs> okay, I got you. Yeah, it's gonna be oh, a waggle pass, pass to the right, and, wide open yep. pullback into the flat. Looster's a little slow getting out there. It's complete for about an eight yard gain and a first down. Bucyrus, yep. nine yard gain. Putting eight it together. That's enough for the Royals first down. That was complete to number twenty two, Caden Blair, out of the backfield. That's a base staple out of that wing T formation. Yep. That yeah, little absolutely. waggle pass out of the backfield. Absolutely. We're trying to single up that linebacker with the fullback. Now the fresh set of downs for Busires at their own 42-yard line. So they're marching the ball. They've gotten two first downs now. First and ten. Twins right. Overset. Dive straight off the tackle. And that is met Nothing. by Daniel. Oh, yeah. Daniel Fredericks just stood his offensive lineman at up, and that back ran right straight into Man. him. So that's going to be a short gain, if any. Yeah, they gave him half a yard. No, nope, we're giving him zero, baby. <laughs> that was Evans off the right side it for was zero too, yards. Man. He maybe have gotten an inch, but, uh, you know, we round down because <laughs> that's right. Yep. we can't give him yardage that he didn't earn. Yeah. So... Looks like an unbalanced set over. Wing T. Off tackle. There we go. Right side, left side. And uh, met by Wooster. Short gain by Blair. About two yards for number 22. Just uh, getting a couple. This is 11th touch of the game already. Hit, that's his 11th already? Yep. Man. Third and long for the. Winford Royals. Key situation. This is what we yeah, want to get them in. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, well, they've had, you know, a couple third and shorts. I'm assuming we're probably going to see that waggle. I'm going to guess. There it comes. Yep. Three, Again. three receivers in the set. Quarterback's, Quarterback's going to run it. Run it. And it's fine up with field tackle by number 27, 27 Landon Wooster. It's going to bring up, bring up fourth and one and a half. Hmm. So, decision time. This and is, I would say they're going to roll the dice. Fourth and one. They're down 14. Yep. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. Yep. We get the ball coming out. So, they're going to roll the dice. They're going to make something happen here. They can control their own destiny here. So, it's a big play by the Pirate defense coming yeah. up. Well, you know, and, and how many plays have they been getting? Yep. Three, four, five yards. I mean, this is a big deal. Look for something a little. Quarterback sneak, and, and he's, he's going to get it. through. Yep. First down. He's going to get it by a half a yard. That was the quarterback, Ashton Warren, taking the sneak up the off the left side, off left right side of the offensive line. You know that was a that's a the, quarterback the, the, who the, that's a man. quarterback who looks like he's done that a couple times. <laughs> well, he's 6'3", 180, 190 pounds. He's a good sized kid. Good he's an athlete. Kid. You can tell. Yep. Yep. Put your ball in your athlete's hands and yep. let it go. That's right. First and ten, win for Bucyrus. Yep. Winner on the Bluffton 47-yard line. Winner always wants the ball when the game's on the line. Sweep to number six. He's, he's going to break through. Room. He's got some room. And he's going to get about eight yards on that. Evans, the ball carrier, sweep on the right side. You know, now here as the Pirates, <clears throat> you're, you're looking at, you know, Let's let's get a quick stop here and let's try to put something else in before the before the end of the half. Fourteen to nothing's nice. Twenty-one to nothing's even better. You got it. And just keep stacking. Keep adding. Yep. 
Don't stop. Second and two for Winford. Trap up the middle, and he's got a good chunk of yardage there off the uh, left side of the offensive line for a regain of about six yards for number 22. Caden Blair, the fullback. And yep. again, they're just crawling right behind that big 7-7. Seven, yep. Seven. <clears throat> yep, yep. And they're, 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 the rest of their linemen are doing well at picking yep. up some of uh, the linebacker blitzes, giving them just enough time for their running backs to be able to First get through that First and 10 gap. and a bluffed in 33. Waggle oh, left. They got a man Come wide out. open in the, the flat. Good again. catch by 22. Nice tackle Very out there by tackle. Carson Cruzy. But that was a nice fingertip great, grab by a, Blair. That was a great catch. Good ball by the quarterback. Yep. Very nice. And he's, he's rolling to his off side as yep. well. He got his hips flipped and flipped the ball right out there for a seven-yard pickup. Well, you know, you, you put it out there far enough in front of him that your, you know, your your running back doesn't have to break stride yep. in order to catch it and can keep running. That's the difference between, you know, a, a five six-yard gain or a two-yard gain when they, yep. you know, they got to turn back for the ball. Second and three. Probably looking at a dive or. Oh, we're going to pass the ball. We're going to get it on the outside. You're going to throw to their playmaker. Threw it off back shoulder, and it's going to be incomplete to number two, James Tindifus. Tindifus? Yeah, Tindifus. 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 Yeah. We butchered it, Mom and Dad. We're sorry. sorry. Incomplete. Third down and three and a half-ish. So, you know, Jordan was out there. Um, He was. You know, he was – He's real close to him. He's right on him. He's not making any any easy catches. No. The quarterback had to throw it to his outside shoulder because, again, he's not making an easy catch. He's going to make so, a play to the inside. Yep. yep, yep. T formation. Here we go. Another big dive. Play. And he's going to fall he's, forward for the first down, or if it's real close, I think he's going to give it to him. And that was number 22, I, I believe. I don't know. Oh, he moved it up a little bit. They're going to yep, give the first give down. The first. Blair with the carry, off tackle. Straight dive. So we got a minute. Pick up. Yep. yep. Minute 43 Four. left. So and now the clock the, is running here. Yep. So first and 10 again for Bucyrus Winford at their own, at the Bluffton 22 yard line. And they're driving deep into Bluffton territory. So now, as the Pirates, we, we need as many stops as we can. You know, have him keep yep. rolling left, Royals right, gonna and he's going to have a pass. Nice job hitting the drag on the backside, and it's incomplete. Incomplete to number 88, Hunter Rutson, or Routson. Maybe it's Routson. I think everybody thought he caught that ball until we all saw he didn't. Yes. <laughs> it was a good effort by it, the young it man. It was on both. A good look for the quarterback. And the quarterback was getting heat that time because Big 2-7 was coming off the edge. He was. He, and we had four <clears throat> defenders out there as well, and they yeah. still kind of, you know, poked it through. Well, that backside drag is a hard thing it's, to pick up. Well, it, especially you don't always know it's coming. Even when yep. you're keeping your head on a swivel, you got to watch for what else is coming. You know, yeah, that's a tough thing. But as a quarterback, if you can if you can see that, that's that can be money. Back to pass for the quarterback. Going again. Good hit. Got and the it's going to be incomplete. Off the right side, quarterback had to get rid of it. He had got to some get pressure rid of on that one. It, it, it was a good hitch route by by number yep. two over there too, man. That yep. was a nice. He had the had the space that he wanted. Yes, absolutely. And it, it just that pressure. That pressure is a big big key to it. That's what it is. You know, we talked about everybody has to do their job. So that brings up third and ten. One ten left in the second quarter. Cyrus comes out. Looks like their wing tee set again. So they're going to try and run the ball. Yeah, they're going to do the waggle that's, pass. That's, I... Motion out. Yep, we got the straight comes. deep back off the right. We got a screen, screen back to 22. Right and he's right. got all kinds of room on the right side. Left side. He's at the 5, 10. In the oh, end zone. Got we got a penalty flag. We got a thrown. penalty flag. We have a penalty flag thrown. Let's yep. see what's happening. But the 22, Caden Blair caught the pass on the screen on the left side. Beautiful. And we have holding on the Royals. On the, yep. The yep. Royals. So that's going to back it up. It's going to take the touchdown off the board, but that was an outstanding play Great call. Great play call by the Royals. Very well executed. I'm not going to lie. I think all of us thought that it was going to be <laughs> that straight pass over there. 
Very, very well executed. You know, as a Pirates, we, we've been throwing that tight end screen a little bit over the yeah. last couple of weeks. We got yeah. our own medicine thrown back yeah, at us it there. Did, but it did too, man. It did. Well, you know, now, the, this is going to give them a little better shot of third down. It's not third and ten now, but it's going to be third and. Yep. You know, so here's the thing, though. As, as the Royals, you know, the Royals coaching staff, i got to give it to them. They set that up perfectly. Two big, deep balls on the right-hand side. Got everybody looking that way. Bring it back to your left. Third and seven. Same set. Straight. we got a flare outside to the main receiver. Nice job of keeping him, getting him involved. It's going to be a first down catch. Yep. He got up the field to get about eight on that play. And they're calling it. Well, first down, so they're moving it forward. Their coach is clear out at the past the half. <laughs> the hatch. First and 10. Coming up. Cyrus at the 11-yard line. Nobody's covering the receiver on the left side. We got a Quarterback's there. back. He's got a straight dive, 22. He's going to turn it down inside the five. And we got a flag? I, what is timeout. that on the ground? There is a flag. Is that a flag? We also have a timeout. Or is that a flag? Or is it a leaf? I don't know. It might be a leaf. It might be a leaf. might be a flag. Could be a piece of cloth from... <laughs> in any case, that was about a six-yard gain by Blair. No, I, I, it might be a flag. They're all talking. Speaking of cloth, don't forget to go up to the Etcetera shop open tomorrow. <laughs> I got some fine cloth, clothing, and everything else. Anything you can find up at the et cetera shop, ladies and gentlemen. We got some new listeners. I've been getting uh, text messages from people going, oh, my gosh, is that you talking on live stream? Those type yes, of things. So, we let him talk on live stream. Yeah, yeah. So I give a shout-out to Jim and Lisa McLaughlin out there listening uh, here tonight. Uh, First-time listeners, long-time pirates. Fans, absolutely. Yeah, long-time yep. fans. <laughs> Had a so it's going to be second down and four <laughs> at the five-yard line. That is uh, Bucyrus Winsford's second timeout. So they have one more timeout in their back pocket. Yep. So yeah, they're no, going to come to the line here. There we go. I was going to say nobody was out on their, their receiver again. Motion. We got a little pass Point play. Out, oh, we got two A bunch people. of guys covered up. But we got and a great job by yes. oh, our safety. Out? Quinn each is no, coming up him. and... Making the play at the four-yard line. So that's a gain of one to their main receiver, number two, James Tindifus. We are we are very, very grateful that they did not look at that number 80 tight end coming across that the That drag middle. was wide open. Wide open, open <laughs> in the end zone. Wide open in the that end zone. That was one of those, the safety was caught in no man's land. Yep. Do you step up or do yep. you stay back? Yep. And uh, he chose wisely that time. Well, you know, as a quarterback... You're you're going to your main receiver if he's open. Like yes. like that's just how it is. Like you're going to your main receiver. No no doubt about it. Now, if you're Besiris, it's third down. Yep. Three yards to go for the first down, but you are out of timeouts. Yeah. So are you gonna try to roll the dice and I get two plays in here? You there's time to do that. I think you I, I think you pass. That way if it's an incomplete pass, time stops. Yep. And then and then you set up for the field goal. But it's also high school football. And you know it. If they get so, the first down and they don't get the touchdown, time does, does stop. Yes. They could clock it. Yep. Yep. But they're not going to clock it on fourth down if they don't make it. Correct. Correct. Well, let's just watch and see. Here it comes, Pirate fans. It's, it's happening regardless. Third down and three at the four-yard line. 29.6 left in the first half. Royals come to the line of scrimmage. Two back set, two receivers. Motion. Motion across. On the inside, we're going to have we go. a little waggle right. Bringing it back out. He's running. 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 He's going to be tripped oh. up at the 22 yard line. Great Eason. job by the junior. That's his second. End zone. That's second intersection of the game. Two tonight, baby. By Quinn Two Eaches, tonight. and that was a huge one. Man, that is pirate football. That is pirate football you know what under under pressure keeping calm coaching staff keeping his players calm making sure we're out there you know just playing good defense we talked about assignments that's what that was they, right place they, at the right they, time they, they did exactly what they needed to do you got it Bluffton's going to line up in victory formation to get out of the half 
with a 14 nothing lead. They're just going to snap it and take a knee. Great job by the Pirate defense on that situation. And uh, we're going to tick things down to the end of the first half. Um, as a Pirate fan, we got to be happy. Yep. We yep. had uh, two or three offensive possessions, two touchdowns. I, I, I tell you what, there's so much excitement tonight. Steve, you're older than me. How's your heart? You good? My heart's perfect, man. Woo! Okay, it's baby. Because I'll tell you what, mine is beating fast right now, man. This has been an awesome So awesome we are going to step away for a halftime show by both bands. We have the uh, Bucyrus Winford Royals band going to be coming up first, followed by the Bluffton Pirate marching band. And uh, we're going to let you enjoy the show. And we'll be back with you after the end of the halftime festivities. All right.
The Rolling Stones, released in 1966. This song became a huge hit, and in 2011, it landed a spot on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's list of the songs that shape rock and roll. We hope you enjoy Paint It Black.
<laughs> and Michael Jordan goes and replies back to him. He's like, he's like, coach, I've been doing it so fast. You kind of scared me. Well, we are back. We're back. And we're about six minutes away from the kickoff of the second half. And we heard two great bands perform here at halftime. They did yeah. a fantastic yeah, they really job. Were. I'll tell you, for as you know, as as small members wise as the Royals band was, they really did a really really great job. They projected themselves well. Yes, they did. And uh, got a few texts here, so we want to throw apology out there to the Winford crowd listening to the game. It is not Bucyrus, so we will refuse to say Bucyrus again, folks. So we apologize for that, but that's all we see sometimes on the papers and whatnot it says that but so what is it, it is Bus- it's just winsford it's winsford Win- winsford royal so we were right at the beginning when we said we were just going with winsford yeah but then you but know then i get excited and throw besires in well, there so it's, I apologize. it's on the papers i mean you know, is. but we yeah we we will attempt not to do that again so yeah it is winsford royals so again we apologize to the winsford crowd listening tonight yep and uh coming into the uh Second half here, Bluffton will receive the kickoff. So, nursing a 14 0 lead. And uh, we were just kind of looking at the stats here. Um, Winford has run off 42 plays, and Bluffton has run off seven. Seven plays. Seven plays. We have three drives a one play drive, a three play drive, and then three and out. Wow. So, um, I'm guessing you're not counting the the last victory. I'm not counting that. As a, okay, that yeah, because it's not a yeah, it's not it's really not. a play, but yep. it, it it is, but it isn't. Right, so. correct, correct. Yeah. But looking at some statistics here for the uh, first half, first for the uh, Winford Royals rushing the ball. Leading rusher is going to be number 22, Caden Blair, 14 carries for 56 yards on the ground. Next up is number six, Anthony Evans, nine carries for 40 yards. And then number one, Ashton Warren, the quarterback, has seven carries for 19 yards. Passing, um, Ashton is uh, six of 12 for 35 yards over the air, through the air, but he has thrown those two costly interceptions to yep. Quinn Eaches. <coughs> yep, yep. So that's a tough one to have to kind of, kind of recover from. Uh, receiving the ball, uh, wise, you have two guys that have caught passes tonight. They both have caught three Three, uh, three passes. Uh, one of them is number two, Tinfus. He is going to be has three car- three catches for 16 yards, and number 22, Caden Blair, has caught uh, three catches out of the backfield for 19 yards. For the Pirates, leading rusher is going to be uh, number 27, Landon Worcester. Three carries for 54 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Gavin Bogart, number uh, why am I blanking? 21. Uh, he has one touch for 12 yards. That was the first play, offensive play oh, for the yep. Pirates. <clears throat> and he has a touchdown run on that one. Passing in Garrett, his twin brother, Garrett Bogart. Two for two for 11 yards. And then receiving the ball, uh, Gavin Bogart has one catch for six yards. And Griff Stackhouse one, has one catch for five yards. Penalty-wise, uh, Winford has 15, one penalty for 15 yards. Actually, they have two penalties. The, the holding, pen, the big holding penalty oh, down yep, there that took yep. back the touchdown. That was another. So they have two penalties for 25 yards. Bluffton has two penalties for 20 yards. So if, all in all, pretty clean game so far. A good hard hitting game. Both teams are very uh, evenly matched for the most part. Um, right now, you know, Bluffton has caused three turnovers from uh, Winford, and you know that's that's in all three scenarios they were inside the 50. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> they but, were. Yeah. As well. That is part of the football game. That's that's part of the game. It's so important. Well, I think I, I you know that's that's a that's a huge part, right? Like when when the momentum of the offensive team continues to get closer and closer to that end zone, your defense, the you know how good your defense is, is determined by how well they can step it up when they're in the red zone. Like that's a big. I mean, that's a big defensive play there to not allow that momentum to oh, take yeah. you over. You know that's a that's a that's a calling card of this defense all year long. It, they just it, don't give up. It has been. You know we and, saw we saw that even even in the game that they lost against you know Columbus Grove, we saw them stop you know Columbus Grove down there in the red zone you know multiple times. Yep. Like that's a that's a yep. big big deal. Just, whatever happens in the previous play, whether it was good or bad, they flush it. Hey, there's a new play coming up. We got yep. we got to get after it. 
Um, I would say, you know, Winford, their running, their running offense is as, as advertised. They, they get after yep. it. Yep. They do a nice job with the variations of the wing tee. And uh, the running backs run hard. They see a hole. They get what they can get. They get the five, six, seven yards. Um, so they're doing a nice job. The offensive line's coming off the ball. Uh, you know, if, if we could watch a little bit more of the Bluffton offense, which we hopefully can do that this half, and uh, we're going to probably see a little bit of that as well from the Bluffton offense because when they get cooking, they're doing the same thing. They're mauling their people, and, uh, you know, Worcester starts getting his touches, and that's when he gets, becomes very dangerous. Yeah, yeah, abs- abs- absolutely. Yep, that's, uh, you know, again, th- this second half, I think, you know, any time that, uh, you know, any again, it doesn't matter if it's playoffs, if it's regular season game or whatnot, you know the the halftime is a is a huge um, part of the game where coaches now have seen you know this this team up close and personal the opposing team to be able to make adjustments to be able to uh, you know put in other plays that you've been practicing throughout the week that you think are going to work against those or you know with those adjustments and stuff. Yep. So second half football is is huge. This is this is going to be a good second half right here. You know if you're bluffed, then how how can you assess any adjustments? Because you've had so many few offensive very, plays. Yeah, very difficult. Yeah. But in turn, you haven't gotten through your probably opening script. Yeah. No, I mean, abs- you probably have a, a 12 to 15 play opening script that you're coming out yep. of the gate with. And it's like, I mean, I haven't even been through this yep. thing yet. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, what are we going to do here going sure. forward? Sure. So, you know. Do we, uh, we got a, as a couple last seconds are winding down, we got a couple scores from around the, Excellent. Around the way. Bring them. Uh, so we want to see Perry's up 21 to nothing over Sandy Valley right now. Uh, Arlington's hasn't been sent in yet, so we haven't seen that. Versailles is up 28 to nothing right now over TVSHS. Do you know that is? T- TV? No not, clue. Not quite sure. Not quite sure on that it's one. It's a long name because they do the abbreviations. Yeah, right. Carrie, Carrie is up 35 to nothing right now in the second quarter. Uh, looking down through, trying to see. Bell Fountain's up 21 20. Or no, I'm sorry, tied 21 uh, 21 right now. Who else we want? Um, Van Wert's up uh, is down thirty-five to thirty-four. Shelby's up on them by Ooh. one point in the second second okay, quarter. We're going to have a have the opening kickoff of the second half, number fifty-one. For oh yeah, yeah we wrote the, yep. Winford uh, fifty-one. Oh. So that's going to be Victor Aliano Cazares is kicking off, and he puts a boot to it. It's a squibber up the side, recovered by Bogart. Gavin, he's going to take it to the right side, continuing to the end, and he's got a little cut to the inside, back to the left a little bit, and he's going to be taken down at the 38-yard line. 38-yard line. By, it looks like, number 27 for Winford, and that would be Maddox Engler, yep, another freshman. Go. Yeah. You know, that's we talk about that. You get those freshmen and sophomore in on your special teams there, make some plays, get a name for yourself. Yep. I got a... Uh, I got somebody text me in here, uh, uh, Clint, uh, let's see, oh, no, uh, actually Clint's wife, uh, text, text me here, so Arlington is up 14-12 to 12 over Patrick Henry right wow. now. Wow. Yep. Big one for the Arlington Red Devils. Yeah, absolutely. All right, here comes Bluffton, first and 10 at their uh, own 38-yard line. Pistol formation for the Pirates. Snaps back to Bogart, going to give the ball to Wooster. He's going to go off the right side for a short gain of about two. And, uh, yeah, their Skidmore nice job was, by, was on looked, his back. Yeah, number 66, like, Kalen Skidmore. Yep, oh, yeah. and it looked like Bryce Hooker, Locker was down there as well. Down there with him. That's going to bring up second down and eight for the Pirates. I'm going to try to put one of those methodical drives together. How <laughs> yeah, does that sound? Yeah, yeah, methodical. I methodical. believe I've heard that from you before. A little bit. Second and eight. Motion. A little counter a little action towards in. To Wooster off the right side of the offensive line for a good gain, just shy of the first down. So he's got a carry of about seven, seven and a half yards there. So it's going to bring up third and one. You know, just a little less than one. He put his shoulder down, wanting to uh, to it, run over top, and <laughs> the the guy there in the backfield got down just a little bit lower just than a him. Little bit. Took, took his knee out there. Yep. All right, big play here for the Pirate offensive line. Going to dig it down, trying to get a, a short yard out of this to get the uh, fresh set of downs. And we have a shift. Snap back to Bogart and hands it off to Wooster. 
He cuts. He's going to get the first down. He's going to fall ahead for about another eight-yard gain for Wooster. So that's a great job by the Pirates. Something different there. We Man. have not seen that shift by the Pirates before. No, no that was that was interesting. it up to an unbalanced right side, and they just use that unbalance on the right <laughs> side to push forward for the first down. First even, and ten Pirates at the 45-yard th- line. Even I was thrown off just for a second, and I was like, uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's different. That was not Canadian football yet. They were not set yet. Their <laughs> hands were not in the dirt, so we are allowed to do that. We are allowed to do that, folks. First this and is, ten Pirates. This is America. We're going to shift that sucker back over to the other side again. Same formation, the other side. Jet sweep, Griff. Oh, the Griff on the outside. We Great got some job good by blocks. He got the he corner. He gets the corner. He cuts it around, oh! puts his helmet down, and we got a Big penalty flag after. thrown. We got a penalty flag thrown. Looks like we're going to get nailed for a holding. Holding. Dude. And that's what it is. Griff around the edge. Good gain for Griff. Put his head down, but it's all for naught. We're going to back him up. Man. It was five yards downfield, so we're going to back it up five or ten yards for the holding call, and it's going to be first and 15. So we, we talked about this last time that we got a holding call. Or, well, we had a, not a holding call. We had a uh, offsides, right? For us, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. it was a legal motion, but yeah. Or legal motion. Oh, that's right. Yeah, legal motion. You know, it, it pulled us back those five yards, and that kept us from, from a first down. So Pirates going to have to overcome here and, you know, keep, keep pushing forward. That was a great job by that defensive outside linebacker, number 11. Man. Um, that was Chandler Elkert. Oh, yep. Set, trying to set the edge on that side. Motion, back to pass. We got it over the middle, wide open, and he's just oh, under through just, just a little bit. He through. had him wide open across the middle. Yep. He had some pressure back in Off on him. Off of that jet sweep fake. That's going to bring up second down and 15. Okay. He had what they wanted. They dialed up the yep. right play. Yep. As we're getting reset, just a couple more scores. We got Lima Senior and Troy are tied at 15 in the second quarter. Salina is down 21 to 28 in the second quarter. Pirates back to the line, ready to go. Bogart gets a snap, rolls to the right a little bit, half roll, zips it out there, wide Great open to pass. He's got the ball. First down. First down, about a 20 yard pass play. That was pretty. Nicely done by the senior. Man. Bogart to the senior, Braden. Wow. Jordan. That was First a, down, Pirates. That was a nice throw, man. That ball was right on. That was a nice throw. A couple substitutions here for the Pirates. We're going to come to the line of scrimmage with a fresh set of downs. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. Putting something together here for the start of the second half. Bogart calls the ball. Gets the snap. Back to pass. Whips it out there. Long ball down the line. Incomplete. Did not quite get it to the outside that he wanted to. Uh, Brought him uh. in the inside a little bit, but he had him. He puts the ball on the outside shoulder. That's six points again. Yeah, you know. yeah. Nice coverage, though, by the way, for number two, James Tinfus. Yeah. You know, Bogart there, he kind of, it didn't look like he had his arm quite set the way he wanted to when he threw that. He kind of was out wide a little bit more and didn't have yep. enough, you know, power behind it. Uh, to, to be able to throw. It wasn't a, a bad ball, just not placed where, where he wanted it nope. to be. Kind of breaking up the uh, tendencies here, but second down and 10 for the Pirates. Motion by Griff Stackhouse. Jet sweep. Nope. Coming back cross with action here to counter Wooster. to Wooster. Nice job by the junior off the right side of the offensive line for a gain of about five. Bringing up third down and five. Around five yards, that, yeah, that's that Skidmore again. You know, we've seen him you know, been calling his name here a lot. You know, he ten, tends to be getting in there and at least cleaning up a little bit, getting those getting those tackles. Now, if you're Pirates, you know, you're thinking, okay, are we gonna are we gonna maybe play for a field goal, or are we gonna try to get the four down stuff here? We're gonna we're gonna take a look here shortly. Pirates come to the line, twin set to the left, pistol formation, snap back, gonna hand the ball off to Wooster. And he is going to make, oh, he's gonna gonna make himself get, the, he first getting down. the first down. He willed that. Made sure. Ten yard, play, ten yard run off the right side. I tell you what, he was down twice, right? You know, we had people in the backfield. We had people at the line. And he made sure he got the first down. That makes him a hard, tough running back to tackle. Man. One guy is not going to bring him down. Nope. Nope. No, I mean, not. <laughs> we even saw that last week, you know, that uh, – that big linebacker and, and running back that they had yep. uh, last week from Paulding there, you know, they went face-to-face a couple times and nope. Well, you, Pistol you, set for the Pirates, first and 10 at the 22-yard line. 
Like a little Griffin. jet sweep action on the counter. Oh, jet. Good He's block. got it in the corner. He's, He's going to skipper in the end zone. Boom. Touchdown. There we go. Touchdown, Pirates. From 16 yards out, Griff Stackhouse off the right, left side of the offensive line on this jet sweep. Greatly, great blocking on the great perimeter by the Pirates. Blocks. And we are extending the lead to 20 to nothing. Bluffton over Winford. <laughs> Listen, we, we as Pirates fans knew we were coming back to a jet sweep, knew we were giving Griff the ball again around the end because that's what we were setting up for. And, again, we talked about assignments. Everybody blocked where they needed to block. Everybody did what they needed to do, and it's another touchdown. Basil out for the extra point. Each is to hold. Snap back. Ball down. Kick is up. And it's good. And it's good. We split the right. It's third time in a row for 21. the Pirates. And we have now have a 21-0 lead over Winford with 7.52 to left in the third quarter. And this is exactly what you want to see out of your pirate offense. Exactly. Is yep. to march down the field, put seven more on the po- on the board. Now Winford goes from maybe a running team to now thinking more pass. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, I, I think you have to, right? Because... Now you've got to get some scores in. You're, you're yeah. down three scores. You've got to try to get something in quick, so that way you know you're you're not eating up all of your time with your run. Exactly. I mean that's that, that's what has to happen. You know, again, like you were talking about there, a great thing is we saw, you know, the Pirates put together a, a good march down the field, even even with having to get the first down. You know, uh, there with Wooster really working hard to get that first down. I mean, oh, yeah. we, we had to be able to do that in order to march down the field. We have to be able to do that to continue to win and football games. And that defense has to respect Wooster. He's in that pistol set. I mean, yep. that's an off-tackle set. Absolutely. And you've got to stack the boxes. If you don't, yep. he's going to run all over you all night long. Hey, before this gets uh, kicked here, we've got a halftime Pandora Gilboa down 3-27 to 27 from Hopewell Loudon. I know that hurts you in the heart there a little bit, Steve. That does, but... It was probably something that was thought was might have happened. Yeah. I've heard some yeah. rumblings that yeah. you know, Hart, Hopewell's got a really good team. Yeah, over they're there. doing they're doing well. And I believe Winford had played. No, I don't know if they are in the same conference or not. They might not have played them. Gotcha. All right, Basil back out to kick the thing off for a couple times here, and he puts a good toe into that, and that's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Winford's going to bring that thing out to the 20-yard line. We got the Columbus Grove score here too, 19 to six. They're up in the second quarter right now over Black River. Okay, and that's uh, Walpox up 34 to seven over Butler, second quarter. Okay, so th- th- those are most of the ones that are around here that we that we know. Yeah. I don't think I'm missing anybody. So, all right, so Bluffton is going to come out there. Looks like we got a couple. Uh, Couple of replacements. Got Crawford comes out there at, yep. uh, at the corner of the corner spots now. Xavier Diller in there. We got a dive off tackle, and we got that thing Nothing. snuffed out by yep. Hayden Dirt in there. We got <laughs> Dirt was getting leverage. You it's saw like, uh, his arms Brody, behind him getting Brody, leverage. Brody uh, Summers him. is in there. A whole slew of guys just yep. mopping it up. So yep. a short gain of two. Yeah, great job by the uh, Pirate defensive line on that. So the clock continues to tick. Second down and eight. <clears throat> T formation for Winford. A little cross block oh, action. Nice, nice job. Got some time. We got, oh, sack got him. Locked up on the backfield Man. by Braden. But a great job by Hayden Durr. That's, that's a, he made him have to slow down. Made and, him bounce. And, yep, absolutely. For a no gain, maybe a loss of a Man, couple inches. That, 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 again, man, assignments, assignments, assignments. That is beautiful to see. I'll tell you what, I know it's the weekend. Nobody likes talking about homework, but these guys have done it. They have. So far, so good. Long way to go, though. Winford comes in the line third and eight. Speaking of assignments, didn't we assign somebody to bring us some uh, lattes earlier? I don't earlier? like coffee. I know you don't. Okay. I, I'm going to drink, drink them both. I'm going to okay. drink them both, okay. Steve. That's Come the last on, thing you need. Rolling Blood. left. Oh, we got Chase to track it down. down. Got a way pass. Oh, way out of yep. bounds way that time by, out of bounds. by Ashton Warren. He, he wanted to whistle that thing to the outside. Looked like he had number two James Tint- Tintfus out there, but he whistled it about two feet over his head. Yeah, just a little bit. And I'll tell you what, man. Bogart on the backside was running him down. Yes, he was. All, all that he had. 
I tell you, as a quarterback, being somebody who was a quarterback, you can feel the presence of somebody coming behind you, even when they're further away than what you think. Like I believe you. You you really. Can. I wasn't a quarterback, but I believe you. <laughs> All right, back to punt. It's going to be Ashton Warren. Puts a foot into it and gets a nice punt yeah, back. Very nice good and wide. Punt. And great, Long. great idea. High. And caught by Braden Jordan at about the 47 yard line. So the Pirates are going to take over offensively. Yep. At their own 47. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, Winford, this is do or die time for that defense. That yeah. defense has to come up with a three and out here for them. Yeah, I mean, you, you get down three, that's tough. You get down four, with a that's, running offense, that's man, real tough. That's really, really tough. Yeah. So here come the Pirates. First and 10, 47 yard line. Pistol set. Looks like they got a little H back action in the backfield. Bogart gets the ball. Hand off. Oh, dirt. dirt. Stretch run around the right side. He's got the corner, and he falls forward for about seven yards on that play. Again, we are seeing some things that we have not seen all year long. He is 200 pounds. He's a big boy. He is. Yeah. Like that, that, that is impressive. Have you seen him walk in the halls? You know, so I. Come on I, now. I think, I think I talked to you about this this week. I honestly. Second and two for the Pirates. Because, you know, my, my first year here, you know, on, you know, on campus and stuff like that, like. I don't know what all these boys look Bogart. like with their helmets off. <laughs> Tripped up in the backfield for a loss of two. But, yeah, they. they you know, so I, yeah, I'm going over, I'm, I'm fixing things, and, you know, in the high school and stuff like that. I don't know exactly who all I'm talking to. Yeah, sometimes. Well, on, if on you Friday, see a guy looking you in the f- eyes, <laughs> that's probably him. that's, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I do try to I do try to see, now that I know their numbers, when yep. I see them on Fridays wearing their jersey, I tend to, yeah, know there, their numbers. There you go. All right, the loss of three, so it's third down and five for the Pirates. Wooster shifflin out. Oh here! Oh, good job by Bu- by very not, by Winford. Yeah. Good job by Winford. <laughs> yeah. I almost did it, did folks. It. Sorry, you didn't. You didn't do it. I heard. Yep. And that's exactly what the uh, that's what Winford needed. defense needed is a stop. Yep. And that was complete to Bogart Gavin from Bogart Gavin or Garrett. But it's going to be a loss of five on that play. So we're going to Pirates are going now going to set up in punt formation. So, so that looked like it was going to be a screen. It was. It but, was. A, it was a middle screen, but it was a receiver this time. Exactly. But not the tight end. But we didn't get behind the line. That was, you know, the line stayed. Oh, oh we have shanked that punt by Gabe. Unfortunately, he, he had to hit. He had to kick it quick, man. That that, that, was that little, line was, was in there quick. Yep. That was about a 14-yard punt. So uh, Winford's going to take the ball over at the 38-yard line at their own 38. So defense for Winford. Did exactly what they need to do. Their ball is now back in the offense's possession, and they're going to try and put some things together. Still down 21 nothing. Pirates are up. And we're going to see what uh, Winford wants to do here offensively. Well, again, I you know, they're in the same boat that we talked about last time. Like, we, you got to score quick. I think you're going to have to go to the Full air. Full dive off, of the left, off the right, left side, sorry. Balls Balls out. The Pirates Balls recovered. Out. Pirates recovered. It's down. Did they say it was down? Now they're nope. sitting there down. The nope. ball's up, and it is Carson Cruz. Touchdown. Touchdown. Do we have a call? What is the call? It's down at down. the one-half one yard line. Down at the one-half yard line. Down at the one-yard line. Boy, it looked like our, hand, our guys had their knees on the ground when they picked that up. But Down at the one-yard line. <laughs> I want the instant replay on that. It might show he got in, but great job by Carson Cruz. He mm-hmm. picking the ball up, taking off with it, and uh, the play was not blown dead. That no, is the fourth no. turnover for Winford tonight, and now the Pirates are sitting at first and goal at the half yard line. You know, we we talk about you know those those key turnovers are crucial. They're huge, They're huge in playoff situations. They're crucial. T formation, double tight for the Pirates under center. Gets the snap off the Wooster to the right side into the end zone touchdown Pirates himself in and they take advantage of the turnover to punch the lead up to twenty seven to zero. You know a lot a lot of times you know you a lot of times the teams that make the least amount of mistakes win the football game like that's just that's how it is. It is. 
especially in playoffs. Any game where you've got yep. Yep. close to equal talent, yeah. you know, those turnovers exactly. really yep. Yep. Tell, tell the tale. Here we so go. Basil, no, yeah, Basil's back for the extra point. <laughs> Eaches, snap, Hold. down, kicks up, and, and it's, it's good. good. Did you did you think we were having somebody else kick it? Did I, you? I turned it around. I just saw one number. I'm like, who? And then, and then he turned all the way. And then I was like, okay, it's 25. Okay. Try, trying out somebody different. And it's like, wow. Yep, yep. All right, with 4.08 left in the third quarter, Bluffton 28, Winford 0. So now it's starting to look like. Now it's. <laughs> and I ain't going to say it, but it's going to look like another week of football. Well, but we got a whole quarter to go. Yeah. So you know we've so we we've we've talked about though, you know already tonight that in these situations now is when teams get desperate and you have to be ready. The Pirates have to be ready for crazy plays. They have to be yes. ready for things that they wouldn't expect. Things that they probably didn't practice during the week. This is the time that you you have to be ready. And I tell you, we we got to get some some bigger arms. They're stronger arms on these cheerleaders. They're not making it up here to us when they're throwing those footballs, Steve. Well, they usually do a good job, but now they got all these clothes on. That's where I mean, it's I, colder that's out. That's what it is. You yeah, know, they're not as limbered up. That's true. Yeah, I mean, they've gotten it close, just not you know not far enough up here. All to right, us. here we go. Everybody's lined up. Balls teed up. Basil's ready to kick it off. Yep. We're kicking it back to the. Same two guys in the backfield, Evans and Blair, are set to return for the Royals. Basil's ready. The whistle's blown. He's going to get it going here. Foot to the ball, and he's got a nice high nice kick. One. Evans with the ball at about the 10-yard line, middle. bringing it up. He's got, he's got some. And oh. it's met. A nice hit by number 41. 41. Ooh. We got uh, Ethan Coli. Ethan Coli on the tackle for yeah. the Pirates. Nice job by the sophomore. And we have uh, Royal Football, first and 10 at about the 32-yard line. Now you're you, probably you going to be, be, yeah, be passing yeah, the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to pass. Yeah. You maybe sprinkle some runs in there along yeah, the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, you know, and, and here's the thing, right? It doesn't have to be a 40-yard pass every single no, time. No, You know, we, we talked about those drags coming open. We yep. talked about those hitches coming open. Under center. We got a little toss. We got end, we got end end another. End and around. Flea and we're going to throw a pass. Flea flicker. And he threw into the hole. And oh, incomplete. <laughs> incomplete. <laughs> so we had a double oh. reverse pass. And, yep. uh, Double and Ashton pass. Warren had a, a guy in his face. He it did. looked like Landon Wooster was going to get after him. Yeah, yeah. And he put a lot. He made a heck of a throw for being he, under duress. He did, man. But Braden Jordan was there to kind of be there to break it up. Yeah. But also number two, James Tinfus <laughs> almost he made a heck of a play on that ball. He almost had that, man. Yeah, and that's he, that's why he's your you know a 900 yard receiver. And, and then in all honesty, he just made a good dive at the ball to almost get his third interception of the night as well. And then we got to throw our hats out there again, you know. <laughs> Second 10 for Winford. The straight dive off to the right side for a short gain of about four yards, tackled by uh, Gavin Bogart, 21. You, you know, what, what you're thinking, you know, why they throw those dives in there is because, hey, you know what, the first first pass didn't go. We've got to get close enough now yep. to try to get another first down so we can go for some more deep passes. And that was a gain of five yards for Blair. Nice job by the, by the very, very good back, as he has shown all night long here. But as you said, you've got to get some positivity there. Um, and they, let's face it, they're, they're not a passing team. They're a running team. So mm-hmm. they're going to stick with the bread and butter to try and get some yards here. And, you know, hey, why not? <clears throat> Under center, Warren. Back to pass. pass. Rolling semi right. Oh, we got pressure. a pressure in there. And got a lot not of pressure quite there. there. We got to throw out the oh, number six. Oh, oh my young man goodness. Had, a, had, a, had the ball in his hands. That one did an outstanding beautiful. job. Of getting out away from the pressure, and then when that outside linebacker started to come up, he dumped it over Man, the top. He saw that break. He saw the opening. He placed it where it needed to be placed, yep. and the receiver just could not. And that keep was his Anthony hands Evans out of the backfield. That just man. I feel bad for the young I, man because I think he was thinking, "Oh yeah, let's yep, go." Yep. And you can't go anywhere without the ball in your hands, man. Yeah, that's, that's true. Got to have the ball first. But that, fourth and five, and uh, you know, hey. You got to go for it here. So, yep, yep, absolutely. It's doable. Absolutely. Twins left. Rolling left. 
Sets a up. Lot of time. Throws her into the flat. Not a great pass. Intercepted and by Gavin Bogart. And the Pirates will take over at the 46-yard line of Winford. You know, I think I think Warren tried to lop that up there yep. a little bit, and it wasn't a great ball. It was a little short, a little short, little underthrown, and but that was the only guy that was open. Everybody was else guy. was, Every, was covered everybody up. Everybody else was covered yep, up. Yeah, he was covered up, and yep. Bogart came from a little ways to make a great play on the ball. Yeah, completely, completely. So agree. that's Ashton's third interception of the game, and that means that Pirates are going to take over first and ten at their at the Winford 46-yard line. So um, this is a drive. That if they can complete it with any type of a score, we'll start the running clock. We'll start the running clock. Yep. That's what I was going to say. Anything after 30, correct? Correct. In the second half. 30 yep. in the second half starts the running clock. So, Pirates, pistol formation. Bogart ready for the ball. Motion by Bogart. Motion. he got double oh, reverse. Back to Chris Stackhouse. Makes a move. He's got the corner. He's going to turn the Jets on. The scamper's about 11 yards for the first down. Nice job by the junior. Good job by uh, the blocking on the perimeter out there, being very patient with things. That's a long developing play Listen, there. That that kid is fast. He is. He is fast. He can scoot. He he made that move, you know, five yards away from that guy and still juked him out because that's how quick he is to cover that ground. Like he is a fast. Dude. First and ten, Pirates pistol set. Garrett calls for it. Motion by Gavin. Gavin gets the ball off oh, the right got a good side. He's got the some room. And he's going to get another first down for the Pirates, a run of about 10, then 11 yards. And that's one play that they have not consistently they yep. been able to stop that. Second Winford's down. hit it a couple times, yep. But, yep. but consistently not been able to stop that jet nope. sweep action to either down. side. So, again, another first down for the Pirates at the 25-yard line. Left hash, ready to go. <clears throat> well, you know, we talked about, you know, that those blocks on the outside are so crucial for that. If you don't have that, I mean, your your guy's not fast enough to, to outrun set. three or four, yep. you know, when... Um, Bogart gets the ball, hands off the Wooster, off the right oh, side, bounces it wide, bounce. he cuts it inside, and he's going to get about three. That was a good job by the junior. Oh, and we, we got, got a long flag. flag going in there. We got some extracurricular stuff happening. Not sure exactly what went down. I don't know if that was us down. or them or... That was late. We'll see what the uh, officials saw. They are conversing. They are conversing some more. Yep. Again, not. Didn't really see anybody from either team. I didn't like, catch anything say there. That, yeah. You know, like you didn't see anybody. Get. Personal foul against Winford Tom again. Winford. <laughs> Automatic first down with that one. <clears throat> you know, that's. Yeah, it's never good. You never. You never want to no. see that. You know, it, emo, it, emotions get going. Emotions, frustration. Play. Yep. Yep. So Bluff, that moves Bluffton down to about the 12-yard line. First down. They can get a first down inside the two. True. <clears throat> so it's not first and goal yet. So Bluffton uh, breaks the huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. Coming about down to the two-minute mark right now here in the third. Okay, Wooster off the left side. Motion by Gavin. And we got a pass across yeah. the middle. Oh, for and he cut it. Jordan it's catches it in the slant for a touchdown. Oh, baby. Nicely done by the duo. Oh, my goodness. With a with a man on his back and wrapped around that his neck. That was good coverage on the outside as oh, well. He was, yeah, yeah. So with that pass play, Gavin, or Garrett, to Brayden Jordan for a 12-yard touchdown pass. That pushes the lead up to 34 to 0. And we have a running clock Sets situation. The running clock. Clark, running Clark, Clark, hey. sure, Clark, clock, Clark, whatever. Clark, yep. All right. We are not professionals, folks. We do not get paid for this. <laughs> we have never said we were professionals. Basil back, snap, ball down, foot into it, and it is good. good. He snuck it right inside the he, left upright. He did too. That was that was the closest one I've seen. Yep. To the he still had space, but it was the closest I've seen to the upright. So that pushes the lead up to 35, Bluffton, Winford 0, with 115 left in the third quarter. And we are now going to be at a running clock, folks. So that means that the only time it's going to stop is going to be timeouts and after a score. Okay. And, or an injury. I was, I was waiting for you to tell me the answer to that because I didn't know it. I just did told you. I just yeah, told you the answer that's, to it. That's why, that's why I keep you around. That's why I keep you around. Yeah. 
So it so looks like we're going to have two more guests here at the start of the third quarter. We do, yeah, yeah, okay. about, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. right, yeah, start of the third. that's going to happen here. You mean end of the third, not start third. of the third. Well, Let's not end, go back. End of the third. Right, start, start of the fourth? Of the fourth. Before oh. the start of the Excellent. fourth. Excellent. You are the math man. I, uh... No, 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 math man. Oh, boy. What? Hey, listen, we're up 35 to nothing. We are. I Here we go joking, again. joking, okay? Here we go again. Yep, yep. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right. Fourth quarter free for all. And we're winding bit, the guys. clock. <laughs> so, Basil's back. He's got her teed up. He's going to put a foot into it again. And we're ready to go. Basil comes forward. And he gives it a good boot. He's got oh, a good kick a into nice that one. Kick. And that is going to roll down into the end zone <clears throat> yep. for a touchback. So we are going to bring it out to the 20-yard line. First and 10 for Winford. Well, yep. now you have a whole different scenario on your hands. I, I mean, you, you got you to gotta score. I you mean, you're down, score. you're down 35 to nothing. Um, you're... Your, te your team's down. You know, they're feeling writing, down. Your writing's a little bit on the wall. A little bit. Again, not that we haven't seen it before, you know, but yep. uh, you got to score, and you got to score quick. And you got, you got, you know, now now you look at, okay, you got some seniors out there that are staring down the last quarter of their careers. Yep, yep. And we got a handoff to 22 Blair, who is one of those seniors. And it's just a straight trap in the middle. Again, they're going to stick with their base stuff. I mean, this is why this is what got them here. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And yeah. They're, they're going to stick with it. That's their style of football. That's their brand of football. Well, yeah. One yard gain. And we'll see if Winford's going to bring it out and run another play here before the end of the quarter. I think they'll probably get it off if they. Yep. If they scurry up, up there, they're going to get it to the line of scrimmage. They typically, get a pretty quick snap. Yep. We'll see here. A little motion to the left. Snap's gone. A little little cross, high, cross buck action, and, and Brody Anderson steps right up, there. makes the good play there for a short four-yard gain off the right side by... That was Anthony Evans, I believe. So, with that, end of the third quarter. Bluffton 35, Winford 0. And we are going to go to some more kids. Yeah. All right. Hello, ladies. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Let's uh, start off by going ahead. Uh, give me your name and what grade you're in. Uh, my name is Ariana Bowling, and I'm a freshman. Excellent. Oh, wait one second. Sorry, we got to unmute you. There we go. <laughs> and I'm Kate Klinger, and I'm also a freshman. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, ladies, uh, I always like to start off with just... Uh, I mean, we're up right now, 35 nothing, man. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it's pretty good. Um, I personally, I don't know a lot about football, but... <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. It's still fun watching it because sometimes yeah. you start to understand after you watch it more. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree with Kate. I don't really know all of the calls, but I just know that you have to get into the end zone, and that's good. So. Yeah, and the, and the excitement, right? You know, yeah. the excitement yeah. behind it is mm -hmm. is great, you know, to, to do that. So, you know, one of the things I always like to ask, you know, the, the kiddos when they're up here or whatnot is, you know, talk about how, you know, just the excitement of, you know, what is going on right now. You know, we're in the, the second round of the playoffs, right? Uh, we've... We've had so many, uh, you know, games already this season where the other team hasn't scored any points. You know, you know, playing super hard, those types of things. Talk about just how that flows into like, like everyday school. How that flows into the community. How that flows into the support. How that just, how does, how does that look like? Do you see a winning football team and other winning programs? You know, we had girls soccer win a lot. We had boys soccer win a lot. Even our eighth grade volleyball team won and did awesome this year. Like. How does that just affect the entire school and community? I feel like the atmosphere of the school is very, like, up and, like, everyone wants to win. And I feel like when you come support your school, like, that just makes... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I feel like definitely from my perspective, I don't have a fall sport, so I've been trying to go to, like, many, like, oh, events. Mm -hmm. And, like, I feel oh, like I've made a lot of, like, different friendships because, like, For I sure, don't, yeah. like... I. 
I've never watched soccer before. And yeah. like this year I started going to the girls and guys game and like I started getting my friends to come and like mm-hmm. the student section started to get bigger. And so my friends who play soccer, like they said like sometimes like they never have any student section. So seeing people mm-hmm. there, like we'd bring drums and like horns mm-hmm. and like it would just bring up like the atmosphere yeah. and like yeah. the school pride and everything. Supporting your team is definitely a big part of it when you have your students supporting. Yeah, cool, good. And and your guys' student section tonight is obviously I'm guessing pajamas. Is <laughs> yeah. that your guys' theme for yeah. tonight or whatnot? Yeah. Okay, to be able to that. Okay, mm-hmm. that's that's super cool. Good. <laughs> Can you not tell? Yeah, I, I was wondering from the yeah maybe the robe and the mm-hmm. yeah different things. I was like yeah because I mean this is definitely not school colors. So that yeah. plaid. I don't know. Yeah. That's, so no, cool, great. Okay, well, so we'll just end with um, you know one uh, again. Appreciate you guys coming up and chatting for a little mm-hmm. bit or whatnot. But we always like to be able to give the students the ability to give some shout outs. So you got anybody out there that you want to give a shout out to? I don't really know. I don't know. <laughs> like, what do you mean by that? Oh, like, like, like family that's listening, maybe, oh, or family. anybody no. else that my you know, mom. Yeah, I was gonna say. I my think mom. my mom might be listening. <laughs> it was too cold for her tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, completely understand. All right, cool. Well, yeah. I appreciate you guys coming up yeah. and chatting or whatnot. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah. you guys, want to give a go pirates? Go pirates! Go pirates. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you thank guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, awesome. Always great to get the students involved, so, man. While we were talking to the kids, yeah, well, we had a first down by uh, Winford, okay. and they had a holding by Winford, and a couple complete passes here. So now they're sitting at third down and six-ish. You know, I'm just, I'm just glad you were watching the game. You know, because I was Ten enjoying out in the flat motion. And he's got all kinds of pressure. Oh, all and kinds of pressure, and he's going to get sacked from by on. Hayden Durth. Hayden Durth. Sack for about a three-yard loss, four-yard loss. That's going to bring it back to third and ten for Winford. Hey, you know, that's a big kid right there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> He's that big kid that and, looks and so mean. so is Ashton. I mean, if you put them side by <laughs> side, those kids yeah. are some good-sized yeah. kids. that's man. But uh, senior quarterback couldn't quite shake them that time nope, for nope. Uh, to, to fling the ball out there. So now we're looking at they're probably going to look like a – They haven't blown the whistle yet or started the play clock, so. Looks like we're going to go for it here. Fourth and ten. Ball on their own uh, 32-yard line. Well, listen, with a running clock, I'm eating a starburst. Warren brings them up. Now, how is that starburst? It's good, man. All right. Warren back to pass. Flings it out there. Oh. Incomplete. And that's going to turn the ball on to run downs. Looked like the receiver slipped a little bit out of the break. The ball was right where it needed to be. It, yeah. was, at, it was past the sticks too. So that's a that's a that Hunter Rouston or right, yeah Rouston 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 yeah yeah. Rouston. yeah. You, you know we really haven't said his name a whole lot tonight, but however he has been in on a lot of different plays. Is that Nico that twin set? And yeah, he, he, he's, he's that inside yeah, slot he's receiver. The other person that's out there. Yeah, and he's been open a little bit today he too. Has. I mean, yep. He, yep, he has. He, I think he was, he had a couple of those drags across the he back did. side. Yep. And Abs- absolutely. Yep. Oh, it w- wouldn't be so, a... Pirates are coming to the line here. First and 10, 32-yard line. Clocks are, wo- are rolling here, so uh, Bogart is ready for the snap. Gets it. Back to pass. He's going to bring it deep, and it looked like that ball again came off a little funny. Uh, he was trying to make a connection with his... Uh, Brother, his twin brother, yep. Gavin, and that ball was way short. So well, again, doesn't matter the clock. It's going to keep running. It's going to keep running. You know, there are seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, and I have not received a cappuccino or a latte yet from anybody. If I have to buy myself Stack one, house motion. it's going to counter action to Wooster, oh, and he got stood he got, up. He nice job by up. that interior of that Royals defense. Excellent job by them. You know, he was dance, He was dancing a little bit, trying to find a hole. Yep. Wasn't a there quick wasn't one. much of a hole there. Nope. It looked like Blair was there to meet him, number 66. Uh, Kalen Skidmore was there to meet him. So great job by that defense in that play. Third and nine. So that was a gain of about one for Landon. Pirates come to the line of scrimmage. Look like they have the uh, pistol set. 
Double wing. Garrett calls to the ball. We got a little jet sweep action oh. to the right side. He's got a fly opening to and, the le- oh. left side, and he is going to get the first down, I believe. He's got about an 11-yard path, got an 11-yard run there. Is he down, down? We got a pirate down here. No. Oh, we got a pirate down over there? Yeah, I was looking at uh, yep. at Bogart over there. I thought he was down. Looks like Hayden Durth is down. I'm out on the field for injury. All right, we got so teams are going to go to the sidelines, get a little drink, talk to their coach. Hayden's going to get checked out. I mean, he's he, he's up, he's setting up, yep. so that's that's good. Yep. You know, and now he's now he's up now and he's, he's up. walking. He's getting looked at. Yep. And, and he's walking off on his own. There, power, that's so. that's what we like <laughs> to see. <laughs> and and Hayden is not the kid to uh, go out. No, no, no. <laughs> unless <laughs> unless he got yeah, his unless, bell rung a little bit. Maybe yeah, maybe got the wind knocked yeah, out or something. Yeah. So and that's one of the one. I don't care how strong you are. <laughs> you that your, doesn't feel good. No, no. You get your. There's three of them, right? You said you get your bell rung. You get a stinger. Anybody out there who knows what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Or you get the wind knocked out of you. That, yep. Yeah, I don't care how big and strong you are. And we can go even further and we can say we can get kicked somewhere oh, that would, yep. would bring us That's to our true. knees as That's well. That's true, yep. Those are some things that are yep. hard to, to yep. deal with. Doesn't matter bit. how big your muscles are. No. <laughs> nope. Back oh, pass, Bogart. Pass. And he's got a guy wide, wide open down the sideline. Oh, he caught it, but I don't know oh, if he's out of, he's out of bounds. They're not giving it to him. Great ball by Bogart. Tried to stay but in. But he bobbled it. Bobbled it a little didn't bit. didn't secure it until he was out of bounds. Yep, yep. Great ball. Great, great effort to catch it. Just couldn't bring it in in time. And I think we're looking at here is we, we've got some seniors playing their last game on Harmon Field, and they're trying to make a few memories. Yep, I think so as well. <clears throat> I think I... I think we might see a, another one. Let's see. What do you think? Yeah, now, second, jet, second ten. I think we're going to run the ball here a little sweep. bit. Maybe. Now let's give it. And yep. Griff off the right side, and he's got some speed along the edge, and he's going to run him out of bounds, and he's only going to pick up about a yard on the play. Good job by that Royal defense sp- spreading him out there. I'll tell you what, that uh, <clears throat> looked like uh, number fifty-four. Fifty-four, Evan Wright. Evan Wright was really hustling there from his Mike and, linebacker spot. And he, dude, that and that's their center on offense. Hey. And yeah, no, I know. C- center has speed too. No, you know? no, no, no. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. Actually, you know, when you have a center who has speed, man, that to be able to get down the field and block some some of those types of things is uh, that's a great thing to oh, be yeah. able to have. Oh yeah. He is Evan Wright. Is a he's a senior, <clears throat> five ten, two hundred pounds. Dude, two hundred pounds coming at you that fast. That's good. Yep. T formation for the Pirates. Third and nine. And it's going to hand the ball off to Bogart off that left side, and they are going to come down. It's going to be real close. Yeah, it's first going to be down. real close. Mm, and they're nope. going to give the fists up for fourth yeah, down. Yeah, fourth down. But he is now as well within range of being able to. Uh, we're going to kick. It looks like we're bringing the field goal. Unit oh, on. you know what? This is a when you're a pirate. This is a good opportunity to go ahead and do this. Yep. To get ready for when you need it in the you know in the following games. Yep. It's a good good situation, a good practice situation here. Absolutely. So Eichus is going to hold. Basil's going to put a foot to it. So here we go, folks. Going to be a 32-yard field attempt. Snap down. Pick is up, and it is, it is good, good for both. For Basil. Dude, that was a line drive. Man. He I did mean, not get a great foot on it, but no. he whistled it through well, there. And I tell you, the Royals out, yards out. outside guy, man, was coming in quick, too. He had to get rid of it quick. So we are 320 away from ending the, this football game. Um, and uh, Pirate fans, get ready to travel yep. because we are going to be on the road starting we, next week. That's right. For however long these kids care to take us for a ride. Because that's these guys right. have been a fun group to watch from week one to now. Yeah. You know, this this is going to be our last broadcast of the season for it us. It is. You know, but uh, we will be at the game. I mean, Absolutely you know, we'll we be, are. We're we'll going to be a tra- second run. No, nope. Yep. We'll be traveling to games, we hope. 
for you to join us there. Um, if there is any opportunity for uh, those of you at home who typically watch from home, just be looking, you know, looking online, looking yep. for the posts that we, you know, put out or whatnot. Uh, Mr. Hanna likes to do that. He puts out posts of where you can watch that. So just be watching or whatnot. There'll be some way for you to be able to, to see it, I'm sure. Basil is going to tee it up one more time here. And looks like we got the same compadres back there yeah. for the Royals. Bet you like they're we got pretty, Evans and Blair back. Bet you they're pretty good buddies. They probably are. <laughs> Puts into it. He got a good charge. Nice. And kick. it's going to go back and into the end zone. Yep. For a touchback. So the ball oh, is oh. on the 20 yard line. So Pirate defense is going to come back out one more time. Looks like we got the JV boys coming out. Yep. And uh, we're going to have those guys. Second team defense is going to be out on the field. Maybe a few DBs back there just a little bit to. Had to but, give a, uh, you know, depending upon the team that we're going to be playing against, uh, we have the yeah. winner of. I, I just looked at it this week, too. The winner of Ottawa Hills. Oh, yeah. And it keeps I keep forgetting the name of it. Uh, pass out to the flat for number two. And he's got some mode. He's got some room, folks. And he is oh, going to score free. Flag. And we got a flag back, and number oh. two, James Tinfus is going to take it to the house. Depending on that flag, for an 80-yard touchdown pass, but we've got a flag back here. Not, not sure. Good play design by uh, yeah. the Royals on that, getting the ball to their main playmaker down there. But uh, we got a penalty flag thrown, and they're going to discuss exactly what went down. Holding against Busire. Uh, yes. Uh, against Winford. Winford. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Winford crew. So that's going to back him up. That's the second touchdown that they're going to take off the board from, from having a penalty. Yep. And I did not see what, if it was a receiver downfield. I, I, from where the flag was thrown, I'm thinking it's probably a receiver blocking downfield. Yeah. Because that was a little bit of a uh, screenish type play to their to, to their. Uh, Main receiver. So we are going to be playing the winner of Colonel Crawford and Ottawa Hills. And Colonel Crawford is up 21 to 15. Yep. And that's in, in the, the fourth quarter, right? Uh, well, there's still there's two minutes to go in the third. Two minutes to go in the third. Okay. Yep. Okay. Winford under center. Back to pass. Looking again. And Got he's going to be chasing down. And he is going to be sacked. Yep. By number 70, oh, Ian oh, Riemann, oh, the senior. Riemann. Getting in there, getting a little play. That's got to be exciting for the senior. You know what talking about? So we are under a minute to go now as the time ticks, ticks away. You were just talking about trying to make some memories out here on their last, you know, senior's last time out here in Hartford Field. Like, that's, uh, yep, that's what they're doing, even on defense. 40 seconds left in the fourth, ladies and gentlemen. And we're under 40 seconds to go. Winford under center one more time. Snap back. Going to be back to pass. Zipping it out to number six. He's got the ball. He's hemmed in by a bunch of pirates, and we're going to be tackled there at about the 17-yard line. So a pickup of about seven don't, for Tinfus. Don't know if they're going to get another one And that's one a 16, and a, there is the last play of the game. For Winford. And Winford's going to end their season at 7 and 5 and bowing out of the second round of the playoffs. And, as and the, that is it, that's folks. It. It's Time a final from Harmon Field. Bluffton Pirates 38. Winford Royals 0. So, folks, let's pack our bags. We are continuing on this playoff run. That's right. And we are going to play the winner of Colonel Crawford and Ottawa Hills. Like we just said, Colonel Crawford's up by se uh, by six with uh, yeah, yeah, by a couple six, minutes yeah. left in the third quarter. So, you know, Colonel Crawford, if we meet them, we're probably going to go to Tiffin or maybe Clyde. Mm, we're going to go oh, east. Yeah. We're yep, going to go yep, east. Yep. So we'll have a little bit of a drive. If it's Ottawa Hills... We're probably looking at maybe Defiance, Napoleon, maybe Bowling Green. Um, you know, the state's going to determine those neutral sites because everything's neutral site now. 
So it's going to be exciting again, guys. Super exciting. If you see these kids out in the streets over the weekend, yep. congratulate yep. them. Put a pat on the back. They they are doing a fine job, a great job tonight by by the uh, Pirates as they uh, you know did a did what they needed to do to advance. Yeah, absolutely. Thirty-eight nothing shutout. Absolutely. You know, and it, and what you were just talking about there. You know, when we had those students up talking, you know, throughout or whatnot, you know, they, they talked about how how big of an impact this has had on on their school, on their community, all the support, all the excitement, those types of things. And, uh, you know, l- let's just keep that going. Let's keep that going throughout the weeks. Uh, and, you know, for all of you, continue to support, you know, our students and support our teams. We appreciate each yep. and every one of you guys yep. that's out there for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It has been a blast Absolutely. this season, you yes. know. Yes, um, Ben's not here tonight. He's ben, not. if you're out there hearing us, yep. listening to us, hey, buddy, we had a fun run. Yep. We enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, we're probably going to bring her back again next year. Oh, Hopefully absolutely. the same trio. Yep. Lord absolutely. willing, and the creek don't rise. And, <laughs> you know, those things happen around here because, you know, we have floods. That's true. That's true. But, uh, you know, we got a group of kids that have uh, collected win number 11. We have not had an 11-win football season since 2004. 2004. That's a long time. We haven't had a 12-win football season since 1991. That's what I thought, 91. Yep. So, so I'm learning a little um, bit, learning a little bit. You know, that's a long haul. We're going to enjoy it while it goes. We are. But, folks, it starts to get real, real now. Because it does. It, it, we're going to be playing some top-notch quality football teams. It's yep. going to be fun, but it's going to be a heck of a lot more fun if you're there. That's right. Yeah. And, you know. Let's plan it now. Next Friday night, last one out of Bluffton. Turn the lights out. Yep, do it, Let's man. go support these kids. They've done a fabulous job so far this season, and they're going to keep playing some football. So There we go. Um, let's go enjoy them. Yep, let's go Pirates, man. Thanks so much, everybody, for listening. And uh, so I'm Courtney Morris. Ben Till's not here. I'm Steve Lemley. We'll go Browns, go Buckeyes, <laughs> and next week we can say go, go Pirates. Pirates. Take care, all. Yep, see ya.